Hey there, it's Bricks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about how to create an import folder in Evernote for the Mac. Now the Windows client has had this forever, but for whatever reason the Mac client has never included it. An import folder is basically a folder we're going to create somewhere on our computer and anytime we save a file there it's going to automatically get imported to Evernote. Yes, scanners these days can scan to Evernote, most of them anyway, uh, but there's times when it's just easier to have a folder that you can just drop something in or scan something to and have it automatically import. So we're going to set that up on the Mac. Like I said, there isn't a built-in way to do that, but what we're going to do, and the, to be honest, the easiest way is to do that using a tool called Hazel. And I've made a blog post that shows how to do that. Uh, you can click on the link that'll appear on your screen now if you want to check that out. But if you don't have Hazel, there's we can do it with the tools built into the Mac as well. It's just a little bit more technical, but not that bad. So we're gonna use, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but we're gonna use a program called Automator that's built into our Mac to automatically import this stuff into Evernote. So we're gonna start up Automator. There's lots of different ways to do it, but instead of navigating through folders, what I usually do, just click on Finder here, start ty typing Automator, and you'll see the top hit right there is Automator. So I'm just going to click on that. All right. So Automator has opened up, and right away it's asking us for what kind of thing we want to create. And we want to create this. It's called a folder action, which is a workflow that attaches to a folder in the Finder. So we're going to do Choose. And you can see here we're presented with a nice screen it's a little overwhelming, but don't worry. And we're going to tell it what we want Automator to do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose which folder we want Automator to watch. So I'm going to go Other. I'm going to navigate to my desktop. This is just where I have it for this purpose of this video. And I'm going to choose this folder. You can call it whatever you want. Just for simplicity's sake, I've called it Evernote Import. And I'm going to hit Choose. And so now we're telling it we want it to watch the Evernote import folder. Next, we're going to have to do something a little bit technical, but you don't have to worry too much about it. What we're going to do is we're going to have it run something called a little Apple script, which is a little program. So we're going to go down here to utilities. And you can see here there's an option for run Apple script. And we're just going to double click on that. And you can see it's added a little bit of code here. So rather than have you watch me type all this in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it in. And I recommend that you do the same thing. If you click on the link that, or go to type in the URL that's appearing on the screen right now, that will take you right to a blog post which has this Apple script in it. And you can just copy and paste from there rather than trying to get all this right. And I'm going to hit the little hammer to have it checked to make sure everything's OK, and it is. And now the next step is optional. What I would like it to do is after Evernote has imported this file, I want it to delete the file, move it to the trash. If you don't want that, you can skip this next step. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Files and Folders. I'm going to do Move Finder Items to Trash. And I'm just going to drag it down underneath. And so now you can see we've got two-step Automator workflow. The first that runs an Apple script to add it to Evernote, and the second that deletes the file. So I'm just going to hit Save. I'm going to call it Evernote Import, and hit Save. I'm going to close that out. And now let's try it out. OK, so I've got Evernote here. And you can see I've got my Evernote import folder here. And let's see what happens. I'm going to hit the Scan button on my scanner. And we don't have to scan. We can just copy a file in, of course. And I'm using a scan snap, but it can be any scanner. And so it's dropped the file there. And what should happen is it should add it to Evernote, which it just did. And you can see that synchronize. And it's just deleted the file, just like we wanted it to do. So there you go. There's a relatively easy way to create an import folder on the Mac. From now on, whatever we add to that folder will be added to Evernote and then uploaded. 
For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and get updates of new videos and tips that I create. Thanks so much.